In this video, I'll be comparing the cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. All right, let's do a quick microphone test. Testing one, two, one, two. This is how it sounds like on the iPhone 13 Pro. Testing one, two, one, two. This is how it sounds like on the Galaxy S20 FE. And this video is sponsored by Mountain Bow. I'm in the Guana Beach right now and I took a six hour flight. I wore the Slim Mercers and they were super stretchy and comfortable throughout the whole plane ride. They also sent me some shirts as well. They are really comfortable, very soft and light but they are on the thinner side, so it's perfect for this California weather. I did notice that after the first wash, the collar stays a bit wrinkly and that's something to be aware of, but other than that, very comfortable shirts. So if you guys are interested, I do have a discount code and all the links down below. So let's rewind to the beginning of the day and let's get this trip started. Let's test out the portion mode of these two phones. I know the FE only lets you shoot with what you get because you can't zoom in, but on iPhone you can. You can go up to 3x, which is something I, I prefer and I do like the compressed background, but the only con is to that is you need a lot of space to shoot your subject. Both of these phones do have a triple camera setup. We're gonna test out the telephoto lenses and the S20 FE actually can zoom up to 30X, whereas on the iPhones can zoom up to 15X. So let's compare the two and put them side by side and see which one does better. The iPhone 13 Pro does have a cinematic mode, which is something that it's cool, but I won't use every single time. The best thing about it is I can point and shoot at anything and it works. It doesn't have to be a human subject. And if you have a MacBook using iMovie or even Final Cut, you actually have more controls to control the background and everything. So you do have a lot more flexibility there. With the Samsung, you need to find a face. If there's no face, then the effect will not work. So I feel like this effect is more like an add-on more than anything else. It's time for low light and I'm gonna show you low light samples while I give you my thoughts using these two phones today. The iPhone's experience, very basic and very easy to use. Anyone can use them. On a Samsung, you get a lot of different modes. Most of them are fun to use and very situational, but you won't use them all the time. 
and also you do get pro mode in both video and photo. So if you do need full control of your camera, the Samsung S20 FE can give you that. Throughout the daytime, the camera experience is very smooth. The only thing I don't really like about the FE is that the haptic feedback when you hit the shutter button is just too soft. Once it get dark or any nighttime situation, the FE does feel sluggish and you can feel it, you can see it. That's also a little knockback against that phone. On the iPhone, it's a smooth experience throughout the day and night. It doesn't matter where or when you are, it's just super smooth. If you are on a budget, the FE does offer you the best price for a almost flagship-like or flagship level experience. So I think the S20 FE is gonna be the best bang for your buck for camera experience. So let me know what you guys think about these two phones. If you guys are interested into super comfortable jeans, check out Monbo, I do have a link down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.